Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Alrighty. We could not go a day without checking in on Simon. And of course, we were giving him accolades, doing the darn thing, making his home feel like a home, presenting nice pictures on the wall. But yet, he took a U turn. A serious U turn. This man is comparing himself. To Steve Harvey and Portia is Marjorie Harvey. I don't know what made him, but it's just, but it's just his, his own what do you call it? Uh, social media account, so he can pretty much do what he want to do. But again, we're trying to make it make sense. Now, if y'all haven't went over to the other channel and subscribed, y'all need to do so now. I thank y'all for what y'all have been doing, but I need to get a little more subscribers over there. And I need my videos to be shared out. Now, that was a shameless plug, but, you know, the other channel is name Make It Make Sense, right? But anyway, going back to Simon. Simon, 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 Simon. Boy, sometimes you can't give people platforms. Because they don't know what to do with themselves. And I'm like, why would Simon Gubadia want to idolize Steve Harvey? Now, we know <sighs> Portia likes to be in the news. But she tries to post funny stuff and here and there, you know, try to g give herself credit for doing something out there. But... We can see her because she's a reality star. And she worked hard for being a reality star. Meaning pretty much showing out, showing your ass. Not literally, but making an ass out of yourself by being on a ratchet TV show. Which happens to pay her or have paid her really well. So with that said, she has come across some you know, celebrities in her lifetime. And uh, you would think she would have made a higher connection where she would be seen a lot more in a positive light. But she's still seen doing wretched things and making herself seem like she is an A-lister. But yet, she hadn't gotten there yet. At least not in my book. And then again, I don't know why she would ever want to be a part of that club. Because they have to do so many things to stay likable in the entertainment field. And amass more and more wealth. Which is greed, power, and everything. Pretty much the Bob tell you not to be invested in. Okay? But, and the whole worshipping thing. But, um, at least we know what Steve Harvey does for a living. Allegedly. And somewhat of what Marjorie does. But... Hey, did y'all remember Marjorie was supposed to have been engaged to a dope pen or something like that? She was in a racket business. So, I'm pretty sure she have already known a lot of A-list celebrities. Because, you know, sometimes celebrities get off their uh, porch and they go into the street. And they look for illicit drugs. Allegedly. So, I could see why she would be like a cookie on Empire. Running around now, but she's trying to clean up her Im image a little bit, and she does uh, own a house, her and Steve here in Atlanta, and that is a snapshot of some of it. I think I had, I did a video in the past about him moving to Atlanta and, and all these other alias celebrities uh, coming to Georgia and making our traffic worse than what it was before 2011. 
Okay, but yeah, Simon has uh, Steve Harvey. You know, Steve Harvey is not the best person to try to idolize either because from what we were told way back when, I'm pretty sure it's still the same solid uh, persona Steve is giving out there. It was said, allegedly, on, you know, different platforms of social media, much, much bigger than mine. Um, you know, I'm just a little small dot out there. But um, we're growing, we're growing, and that's good. But uh, yeah, Steve was out there. He man, I've been married about three or four times, right? And look how he did his last wife. Okay, he's a bully uh, to his children as well as to the exes. And only one that seems to keep him in charge and get her way is Marjorie. But then again, she was dating a uh kingpin uh so that just is what it is so he sure wa surely won't be messing with marjorie in that way anyway she'll get him before he gets her that's just how i feel and i see how she rolls okay but um yeah steve is uh he had fired his crew or he didn't want them i think on the morning show or he had or some type of platform he was i i kind of get confused about it but i kind of sort of remember him being in the news about being very bougie very diva style type and that's you know we we put that for women to do all that stuff cut up and act like they the shit and you know nobody else can compare to them you know so like a mariah carey j-lo um who else just so obsessed with people not looking at them I think Prince was like that too. Michael Jackson was like that. But yeah, you had to make an appointment to see him. And you couldn't address him in public. And when he walked past you, you weren't supposed to be looking at him. You're supposed to be looking anywhere else. Down at the floor, up at the ceiling, from side to side. But you could not make eye contact with him. Or you pretty much was like fired on the spot. So if that's what you want to be, Simon, you want to be in that type of, um, I wouldn't say worshiping another man, but you want to be in that limelight of people doing that to you. You don't want to make eye contact with people or you see people like they're shit if they're not on your status or the status that you claim to be on or uh, I don't know, but I told you you couldn't last for long. I knew I knew we couldn't be on the same page. We couldn't be reading the same book. You always have to have us in Shitsville. <sighs> but it lasted for a good last. Well, no, no, no. It was less than 24 hours. Because I did that video a little later than what I was doing this particular video. So, I want to. I don't know where this had come from or where he got it from. But this is what Steve Harvey was saying. And I was always told you were not supposed to swear and use the Lord's name in vain the way um, Simon is. So uh, I don't know what type of deity he gets down with. But swearing on something as high as the Lord, it wouldn't be a good thing, Simon. It just would not be a good thing. But again... Portia evidently was not home to check your post or what you're posting out here uh, in social media, making yourself kind of look foolish. But this is the, uh, I think she was at a war show and he was just really acting a fool. And I was like, oh my God, why is Steve saying that? Because I don't know of any man that's going to sit and throw his life down for his wife or his wife throw her life down for her husband's life. Only person that I knew could, you know, throw their life away for millions for the masses for humanity was Jesus Christ. Okay? That's the only person I know. And would do it again more than likely. But let's take a listen to what Steve Harvey said. And it seems like Simon Gabadia, uh, just the optics that we're looking at feels the same way about Portia. I just had a moment. I'm... And that's me and my wife's song too. 
I met her in 86, 87 when the song came out. And God gave her back to me in 2005. I put her name on the back, man. You, you understand me. That's mine right there. Yeah, I own you and you own me. I will kill everybody in here about your ass. Please understand that about the way I love you, Marjorie Elaine. You understand me? I kill everybody in here. I swear to God, I will. You can ask me. Man, Lord that's what I'm talking about. I tell you, if we ask the Lord about you, please. You will be in shits there. And what does he have on on that outfit? I don't know what he's trying to do. I do. Rescued and changed my life. I just had a moment. And he's saying Marjorie rescued him and changed his life. Now, technically, I thought that's something the Lord would do for you. And you would throw up praises for him. Not another man praising another man or a woman praising another woman. Okay. But that's all I got for this video. That's the kind of dialogue simon has given us that he and portia are representing such as steve harvey and marjorie harvey and he would kill everybody allegedly who got in his way of loving on his wife okay <laughs> i'm like make it make sense portia check his um uh, his uh post prior to him posting girl because again he got himself out here looking like pretty stupid okay stupid is a stupid does so i guess we can never give him one up because he always gonna come back come back to us with some f stuff okay he's gonna come with the foolishness fuckery fraudulent fakery stance okay so We'll see y'all next video. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.